We have a very busy calendar ahead of us over the summer term here at Tower College. We have many events. And we like to keep the children very busy and give them as many opportunities as possible throughout the academic year. One of those events that we have coming up is our spelling bee for our lower school pupils. This is something that's relatively new to the school and takes the format of an Americanized spelling bee. It's a fantastic opportunity to celebrate those children that are doing particularly well throughout their spellings and English lessons. Of course, we were all saddened by the recent passing of Queen Elizabeth in 2022. But we do have the incredible opportunity to celebrate the coronation of King Charles this year. Pupils will of course get the day off school as this is a national bank holiday, but we will also be celebrating this in school with a special event for the King's coronation. This is a monumentous occasion throughout my lifetime. I have never seen a new monarch be crowned. And of course, this will go down as a moment in our history as a proud nation. The GCSEs will begin for our year 11 pupils on the 15th of May. We've put so much preparation and of course they've had 11 years of education to prepare them for this monumental event in their lives. Of course our year 11 pupils are a little bit nervous but that is perfectly expected at this point in the year. It just means they want to do really well. On the 25th of May, our pupils in lower school will be taking part in the Child Genus Finale event. They're so excited to show off the skills that they've gained over this year, and we really do have some gifted and talented youngsters in that group. So I'm really excited for this new trip that we're going to go on, and it's a law court trip, because Miss Riley used to be a lawyer, so she made an enrichment called Law Court. So we're going to reenact a law court case, which I'm really excited for. On the 19th of June, all children in year groups 6 through to year 10 will be taking part in their internal assessment week. This is a fantastic opportunity for our children to identify any areas for development, but also to celebrate their achievements and their progress made throughout the last six months. On the 23rd of June, our year 11 pupils will have their final day and we will celebrate this with a leavers assembly. Typically, the pupils will put together a presentation and we will put together some photos and video content of their time here at Tower College. We're incredibly proud of what they have achieved in this time and we hope that they feel this same sense of pride and achievement when they get their GCSE results in the third Thursday of August. Our Year 11 pupils are incredibly excited about the prospect of their prom, which will be on the 30th of June this year. I know that our prom planning committee has been working very hard and it's really important to us that we involve the pupils in the stages of planning and preparation at this point. We're going to go to a trip called the Worldsley Castle trip. It's a residential trip to like rock climbing, high ropes. One of my younger brothers has been and he said it was absolutely brilliant. Every year, Tower College hosts a graduation, and it's where uh, pupils get recognised for their achievements throughout the year. It's a great way to show how much they've moved forward. In the final week of our summer term, we have our summer gala. We take part in Christmas, Easter and summer gala, so there's one every term, and it's a fantastic opportunity for our children to engage in a little bit of fundraising for some communities and for some charities as well. But also, it's a time to let our hair down and engage in some fun activities as we come into that final week of the academic year. Finally, we have our summer holidays that I know many of our children are incredibly excited about. It's a fantastic time and of course gives our children, particularly in the older year groups, time to rest, relax and of course, revise.